Hey ma'am, my name is Joseph D. Machado Jr. from BC 1B. That's on the topic, Lecture 5, Stress and Strain and Harmonic Motion. Example 12.7, page, page 606, Compressive Stress in a Pillar. A sculpture weighing 10,000 Newton rests on a horizontal surface at the top of a 6.m tall vertical pillar in figure 12.19. The pillar across sectional area is 0.20 m square and it is made of rhinite with a mass density of 2,700 kg per m cube. Find the compressive stress at the cross section located 3.0 meter below the top of the pillar and the value of compressive strain at the top 3.0 meter segment of the pillar. So this is the static, static equilibrium and elasticity in figure 12.19. Given sculpture weight is equal to 10,000 or 1.0 times 10 raised to the power of 4 newton. Height of pillar is equal to 6 point meter pillar and cross-sectional area is equal to 0.20 m square. Density of granite P is equal to 2,700 kg per m cube or 2.7 times 10 cube kilogram per m cube. A height is equal to 3.0 m or meter area is equal to 0.20 m square. P is equal to 2.7 times 10 cube kilogram per m cube. Granite is equal to 9 Gravity is equal to 9.8 meter per second square. And B, strain is equal to stress over Y. Equals 128.4 K Pascal over 4.5 times 10 square K Pascal. So we're going to substitute. Then the total of the strain is equal to 2.8 times 10 raised to the power of negative 6. Solution. First, we find the weight of the 3.8 meter long top of section of the pillar, the normal force that acts on the cross section located 3 point meter down from the top is the sum of the pillar's weight and the sculpture's is weight. Once we have normal force, we use equation 12.34 to find the stress. To find the compressive strain, we find the value of Young's modulus for granite in table 12.1 table 12 and invert equation 12.36. The volume of the pillar segment with weight height is equal to 3 meter at 3.0 meter and, and cross sectional area area is equal to 0.20 meter square is velocity is equal to area times height which is area is 20 m squared and height is equal to 3.m so the total of the velocity is 0.60 m cube <coughs> with the density of granite p is equal to 2.7 times 10 cube kilogram per m cube the mass of segment is mass is equal to p times v which is the total p the total of p is 2.7 times 10 cube kilogram m cube then the velocity is 0.60 m cube so we're going to substitute so the total of the Meter is 1.60 times 10 cube kilogram. The weight of the pillar segment is WP times meter times gravity. So it's equal to the quantity 1.60 times 10 cube kilogram. Then 9.8 meter per second square. So the total of WP or weight of the pillars is equal to 1.568 times 10 raised to the power of 4 newton. The might of if the sculpture is WS is equal to 1.0 times 10 raised to the power of 4 newton. So the normal force on the cross sectional surface located 3 point meter below the sculpture is F is equal to weight of the pillar plus WS is equal to 1.568 plus 1.0 times 10 raised to the power of 4 newton. So the total is F is equal to 2.568 times 10 raised to the power of 4 Newton. Therefore, the stress is <coughs> F over A is equal to 2.568 times 10 
raised to the power of 4 newton over 0.20 m square. So we're going to substitute the 2.568 times 10 raised to the power of newton and 0.20 m square. So the total of the stress is 1.284 times 10 raised to the power of 5 pascal or 128.4k k pascal. So yang modulus for granite granite is y is equal to 45 times 10 raised to the power of 10 pascal is equal to 4.5 times 10 raised to the power of 7 kPa or pascal therefore the compressive strain at this position is strain is equal to stress over y 128 4 k pascal over 4.5 times 10 raised to the power of 7 pascal is equal to 200 uh, 2.85 times 10 raised to the power of negative 6 so the total is strain is equals 200.85 times 10 raised to the power of negative 6 good evening ma'am my name is joseph d machado jr from bc 1b that's sandra Propic, lecture 5 stress and strain and harmonic motion Example 12.7, page 606, Compressive Stress in a Pillar. Question. A sculpture weighing 10,000 newton rests on a horizontal surface at the top of a 6.0 meter tall vertical pillar. In figure 12.19, um, static equilibrium and elasticity in figure 12.19, this is the Nelson's column in Trafalgar Square, London, England. So, gikredit si siya sa modification of work by Kristan Bortes. The pillar's cross-sectional area is 0.20 m square. It is made of granite with a mass density of 2,700 kg per m cube. Find the compressive stress at a cross section located 3.0 meter below at the top of the pillar and the value of the compressive strain at the top 3.0 meter segment of the pillar so we have a given the sculpture weight is equals to 10,000 or 1.0 times 10 raised to the power of 4 newton height of the pillar which is equals to 6.0 meter we have pillar and cross sectional area is equals to 0.20 meter square lastly our density of granite p is equals to 2700 kilogram per m cube or 2.7 times 10 cube kilogram per m cube so a a height is equals to 3 point meter ang katas on area is equals to 0.20 m square and p is equals to our density of granite is 2.7 times 10 cube kilogram per m cube so we have gravity is equals to 9.8 meter per second square. So we have strain equivalent the equivalent of strain is stress over y is equals to 128.4 kilo pascal over 4.5 divided by 4.5 times 10 square kilo pascal. So we're going to substitute so we have the total is 2.8 times 10 raised to the power of negative 6 of strain. Solution. First, we find the weight of the 3.0 m long top section of the pillar. The normal force that acts on the cross section located 3. meter down from the top is the sum of the pillars weight and the sculpture's weight once we have normal force we use equation 
to find the stress to find the compressive strain we find the value of Young's modulus for granite in table 12.1 and invert in equation 12.36 so we're going to solution the value of the pillar segment with weight height is equals to 3.m and across sectional area is equals to 0.20m square is velocity is equals to area times height it is equals to equivalent 0.20m square liquidity 3.0m so the total is 0.60m square with, with the density of granite p is equals to 2.7 times 10 cube kilogram per m cube the mass of the segment is m is equals to p times v so the p is 2.7 times 10 cube kilogram per m cube so our velocity is equals to 0.60 m cube so the total of the m is equals to 1.60 times 10 cube kilogram and the weight of the pillar segment is meter times gravity so we have 1.60 times 10 cube kilogram then 9.8 meter per second square so we're going to substitute so the total of answer of weight of the pillar segment is 1.568 times 10 raised to the power of 4 newton then the weight of the sculpture is ws is equal is which is 1.0 times 10 to the power of 4 newton so the normal force on the cross sectional surface located 3.0 m Below the sculpture is force that acting perpendicularly to the cross section of the subject is equals to work uh, perpendicular work perpendicular plus WS is equals to one point five hundred sixty eight plus one point zero times 10 raised to the power of 4 newton so we have going to add so the total is uh, the force that acting perpendicularly to the cross section of the sub object is equals to 2.568 times 10 raised to the power of 4 newton Uh, therefore, the stress is, is equals to force that acting perpendicularly to the cross section of the object over area is equals to 2.568 times 10 raised to the power of 4 newton over 0.20 m square. So we're going to divide or sub and substitute. So the total of the stress is equals to 1.284 times 10 raised to the power of 5 pascal or 128.4 kilo pascal. Then Young's modulus for granite is equals to 4.5 times 10 raised to the power of 10 Pascal is equals to 4.5 times 10 raised to the power of 7 Kilo Pascal Therefore, the compressive strain at this position is is strain is equals to stress over Y 
squash 128.4 ki, ki, kilo pascal over, divided by 4.5 times 10 raised to the power 7 kilo pascal. So we're going to substitute. So the answer is strain is equals to 2.85 times 10 raised to the power of Raise to the power of negative 6. Continue. Example 12.8. Stretching a rod. A uh, 2.0 meter long steel rod as a cross sectional area of 0.30 centimeter square. The rod is a part of a vertical support that holds a heavy 550 kilogram platform that hangs attached to the rod's lower end. Ignoring the weight of the rod, what is the tens tensile stress in the rod and the elongation of the rod under the stress? First, atong unahon, kwintahon ang tensile stress sa sungkod ubo sa gibot gibugaton sa plataforma subay sa equation 12.4 then we invert dai atong balik aron ang equation 12.36 aron su subay sa equation 12.34 dai atong makita ang elongation sa rod gamit ang All over the length is equals to 2.0 meter. Gikan sa talaan sa 12.1, yang modulus for steel is y is equals to 2.0 times 10 raised to the power 11 pascal given. All over the length is equals to 2.0 m. Meter is equals to 550 kilogram. Area is equals to 0.30 centimeter square or 3.0 times 10 raised to the power of negative 5 m square. And y is equals to 2.0 times 10 raised to the power of 11 pascal. Solution mm, Tensile stress is equals to force that acting perpendicularly to the cross section of the object all over area is the object is equals to Quantity 550 kilogram, quantity 9.8 meter per second square over 3.0 times 10 raised to the power of negative 5 m square. So we're going to substituting then the uh, tensile. The answer is total answer is tensile stress is equal is equals to 1.8 times 10 raised to the power of 8 pascal then delta delta l or delta length is equals to force that acting perpendicularly to the cross section of the object all over area then all over the length over y is equals to 1.8 times 10 raised to the power of 8 pascal. So, ang answer is 2.0 times <coughs> 10 pascal. So, we're going to manipulate this 2.0 m over 2.0 times 10 pascal. So the our the answer total answer is 
delta length times i is equals to 1.8 times 10 negative 10 negative 3 and negative cube <coughs> m or 1.0 m millimeter elongation of the road straight Susama sa pananglitan sa kolom ang tensile stress ni ini nga pananglitan dili pareha sa gitas on sa ang sukod dili sama sa miaging pananglitan bisan pa kung ang gibugaton sa sungkod gikonsiderar ang stress sa ang sukod mao ang kinadakan sa ibabaw o ang pinakagamay sa ubos sa sukod din ang mga ikipo gilakip example number 3 12.9 hydraulic press question in hydraulic press figure 12.23 250 liter volume of oil is subjected to uh, 2300 pounds per square inch pressure increase if the compressibility of oil is 2.0 times 10 raised to the power of negative 5 over atmosphere find the bulk strain and the absolute decrease in the volume of oil when the press is operating so we have the bin diagram in figure 12.23. Sa usa ka hydraulic press, sa diha nga usa ka gamay nga piston, mao gibalhin paubos ang pressure sa lana gipasa sa tibuok nga lana ngadto sa dako nga piston. Hinungdan sa dako nga piston sa lihok pataas ang gamay nga puwersa nga gigamit sa gamay nga piston hinungdan sa dako nga puwersa sa pagpumugos gigamit sa dako nga piston sa usa ka butang gibaya og gipiit then sa dako nga piston sa usa ka butang Ang aparato naglihok ingon sa usa ka mechanical lever. Then we have the given velocity is equals to 250 length delta p is equals to 200 ay 2300 pounds per square inch. Kilos is equals to 2.0 times 10 raised to the power of negative 5 ob per atmosphere. Solution. Delta P is equals to 2,300 pounds per square inch over 14.7 atmosphere. So, we're going to substitute. So, the answer is 1,160 atmosphere. Sa bulk strain is equals to delta. This is the value. Delta V over all over original velocity. Then, delta P over B. Then, kilo kilo delta p so the quantity 2.0 times 10 raised to the power of negative 5 per atmosphere the quantity 1.160 atmosphere so we're going to substitute so the total of the bulk strain is equals to point zero zero 32. 
Then delta V is equals to 0 0.0032 times 250 letters sa ang atong velocity. Then atong is e times makuha is delta delta velocity is equals to velocity delta 0.78 letters. So note equation is 12.40 k is equals to 1 over b is equals to minus delta v over original v over delta p mm. dahil ang compressibility ng tubig ay 2.32 na mas malaki kaysa sa langis kung ang naglihok na substance sa hydraulic press na ay problema ay pwede ma bago sa tubig ang bulk strain pati na rin ang pagbabago ng volume ay magiging 2.32 mabeses na mas na mas dako example number 4 12.10 a cleaning person tries to move a heavy hold book case on a carpeted floor by pushing tangentially on the surface of the very top shelf however the only noticeable effect of this effort is similar to that seen in figure 12.24 and it disappears when the person stops pushing the bookcase is 180 point centimeter tall and 90 point centimeter wide with 4 30.0 cm deep shelves at partially loaded with books. The total weight of the bookcase is 600.0 newton. If the person gives to the top shelf a uh, 50.0 newton push that displaces the top of shelf horizontally by 15.0 cm relative to the motionless bottom shelf, find the share, share modulus of the bookcase. So, we have the given F sub 11 is equals to 50.0 Newton. Delta X is equals to 15.0 centimeter. Initially length is equals to 180.0 centimeter. Area is equals to 90.0 centimeter. The quantity 30.0 centimeter. So, we're going to substitute. So, the total answer of the area is equals to 2700.0 cm square the only pieces of relevant information are the physical dimension and tangentially na naipiraso nga kat na ka tuturang information ay ang uh, physical na sukat nga aparador Ang halaga ng tangent, tangential puwersa at displacement na dulot ng puwersa ito, tinutukoy namin ang, ang F sub 11 is equals to 50 point sub n and 180 point 0 centimeter. So, solution. S is equals to share. So, this is the value. This is the equation. Share, share stress over share strain is equals to F sub 11 over area of the objects is equals to uh, the 50.0 newton over 2700 centimeter square. Tapos, Originally, length over delta x is 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 hundred eighty point zero centimeter over fifteen point zero centimeter. So, 
multiply 50 multiplied by 0 0.0 newton times 180.0 centimeter is equals to 2 newton then manipulate manipulate the 2700 centimeter square so the answer is 9 centimeter square so 2 over 9 times 10 raised to the power of 4 newton over centimeter square so manipulate so the answer s is equals to 20 over 9 times 10 cube pascal or 2.222 kilo pascal so this is the substituting into the equations we obtain for the shear modulus then we can also find shear stress of shear stress and strain and respectively F sub 11 over area is equals to 50.0 newton over 2700 centimeter square is equals to 5 over 27 kilo pascal is equals to 185.2 pascal then delta x is equals to original length is equals to 15.0 centimeter over 180 centimeter is equals to 1 over 12 so the answer is 0 0.083 Kung sa tao, niyagi pa ng lilitang naghatag sa shelf, ug sa ka himsog nga pagduso, mahimog may tabo nga naghatag nga pagunting mahugno. Kiningad to sa tapok sa basura, kadaganon sa parihas nga mekanismo sa pagunting ang responsable sa mga kapakyasan, sa mga dam nga puno sa yuta, o ang damba, o kinatikabok ang alang sa pagdahili sa yuta. The last number, example 15.2, determining the equations of motions for a block and a spring. Question, a 2.00 kilogram block is placed on a frictionless surface, a spring with a force constant of kilo is equals to 32.00 newton meter newton per meter is attached to the block and the opposite end of the spring is the attached to the wall the spring can be compressed or extended the equilibrium equilibrium position is marked as x is equals to 0 0.00 m work is done on the block pulling it out to x is equals to positive 0.02m the block is released from rest and oscillates between x is equals to positive 0.02m and x is equals to negative 0.02m the period of the motion is 1.57 seconds determine the equations of motion so, where we first find the angular frequency, the phase shift is 0, or beta, is equals to 0 0.00 rad, because the block is released from rest of rest at x is equals to area is equals to positive point zero zero two m Once the angular is found, we can determine the maximum velocity and ma maximum acceleration. So we have the given area is equals to positive 0 0.02 m and time is equals to 1.57 seconds and is equals to 0 0.00 rad. 
solution. The angular frequency can be found and used to find the maximum velocity and maximum acceleration work is equals to 2 pi over 1.57 seconds. So the equivalent of pi is equals to 3.14. So we are going to substituting is equals to 4.00 negative raised to the power of negative 1 s a sub s uh, max velocity is equals to a w is equals to 0 0.02 m multiplied by 0 0.00 negative which is the power of negative 1 sub s is equals to 0 0.08 meter per seconds max acceleration is equals to a w square is equals to 0 0.02 m multiplied by 4.00 raised to the power of negative 1 sub s is equals to 0.32 meter per second square. All is the left is to fill up with the equations. Then x of time is equals to area cosine multiplied by wt plus rad is equals to 0 0.02 m cosine quantity 0 0.4 0 0.00 negative uh, raised to the power of negative 1 sub s t then Velocity of t of time is equals to negative max velocity sine the quantity wt plus rad. So the answer is negative 0 0.08 meter per second sine the quantity 4.00 raised to the power of negative 1 sub s positive. So, the acceleration of t time is equals to negative max acceleration cosine wt plus rad. So, that acceleration is, the total is negative 0.32 m per second square cosine 4.00 to the power of negative 1 at sub s t. That's all. Thank you. The position, velocity, and acceleration can be found for any time. It is important to the number. remember that when using the equations, your calculator must be in radians mode. That's all. Thank you.